Hi everyone and welcome back to Taekwondo Step by Step. I'm Andrew. Hope you've had a good weekend. I've had a wonderful weekend. Just hang on a second. Hello? Yes? Okay, okay, okay. That's what we'll do. All right. Okay, I'll ring you back after the show. Make sure you liked it, okay? Just hang on a second. Okay, change in plans. That was one of our viewers and they said that up until now, of course, we've come up to Ojang already and they said that things were moving just a little bit fast and they were having a bit of difficulty. So what we're going to do is today, we're not going on to take a Yukjang. Instead, we're going to go back and do some basic forms because we need to practice, okay? So things have been getting difficult, but we'll go back and do these basic forms. I'll have a fight with the produce, with the producer and the writers of the show later, but no worries. Let's get into some basic forms. Hello everyone, I'm Lee Gyu Hyun. Everyone, how was it so far doing the patterns? I know it must not have been easy all throughout the way. If that's the case, then try brushing up on your forms with the basic forms. If you master the basic moves, you'll find mastering the patterns much easier. Okay then, Master Lee, what's the first basic form that we're going to learn today? Yes, in Taekwondo, Etiquette is the most important asset of practicing this sport. The chumbi stance is the beginning form and also the ending form for all the basic forms as well as the patterns. So I'll begin today's session with a basic stance called chumbi sogi. I'm sure all of you out there who have been following our sessions will understand the meaning of this form. From the charot sogi, when you spread your feet about a foot size, this becomes a narani sogi. From this stance, you raise your hands making a fist of both hands like this. You do this while breathing in and lower them back around the area around your lower stomach. Then lowering your fist, you exhale about two-thirds of your breath and concentrate the remaining breath to the center of your body. And you must focus your mind and energy to your fists and the center of your body. This is called jumbisagi. The gap between the fists should be about a fist size and the gap between your stomach and fists should also be a fist size. Another important thing is that your wrists have to be straightened. Now, shall we all go through this form together? Andrew, why don't you join the others? Okay. Yeah. One more time now. Okay, now you will learn the momtong jirigi in the chumbi sogi stance. From the chumbi sogi stance, you spread your feet about a foot size more and bend both your knees moderately. When you look down over your knees, your toes should be in line with the knees. Then you strain the knees so that they will seem to bend inward. Then you go through the wind up by raising your right arm up to your chest and left arm pulled back and twisting your waist fully, you punch. In the same manner, you can do consecutive punches using both fists. Okay, Master Lee, if you can run us through that just one more time, we'll <laughs> follow along. Fine. All right, for two consecutive punches, you carry on the momentum of the initial punch by punching promptly one after the other. Also, for three consecutive punches, you fully wind up only once in the beginning. Then you use the momentum for the following punches. Okay, Andrew, do you know what the next basic form is? Okay, well, in Il I Samjang, we did, first we did Are Makki, and then in Teguk Sajang, we did Sonnal Momtom Makki. So, 
Yes, that... See, I told you I'm a genius. I knew that. Okay. Do you know what the common denominator of those moves is? Well, actually, I think you've got me there. Haha, <laughs> I thought you were taking the whiz. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, well, they're all blocking techniques, so it must be blocking techniques, right? See, I told you, geniuses don't make a mistake. Well, that is the correct answer. You first start off with blocking techniques in Taekwondo. So you can say that Taekwondo is meant for self-defense. Right, okay, well then, shall we get into today's blocking technique then? Sure, and the first one is of course, Aramaki. All right, everyone, from the Akubi stance, you do the Aramaki. When you set your right foot backwards, your left palm should be facing upwards, and the right fist should come below the left elbow. And while twisting for the wind-up, you block as you set your right foot down. For the completed posture, your right wrist should be placed around the waist, and the blocking arm should be set right above your knee. And the gap between the knee and the blocking fist is a fist size. Your body from the front should be slightly slanted by about 30 degrees. Now everyone, follow along now. Okay, now the things we learned today, the basic forms, okay, the arimaki, the lower block, and the basic stance, etc. They're very, very important because they form the basis of all of the forms that we do, okay? So it's very, very important that we get them exactly right. Okay, practice time now in today's point. Okay, well you know what time it is? That's right, it's Taekwondo real life time, but bad news today. Because it's the first time that we've gone back over all of our basic forms again, it's taken a lot longer than we thought. So unfortunately, we've run out of time. We're at the end of our program. So I'm a bit sad, I know you're sad too, but tomorrow we'll be back with Taekwondo real life and it'll be bigger, badder and better than, more beautiful than ever, okay? All right, we're at the end of the program, so Master Lee, Thank you again very much for teaching us. Thank you, everyone. Okay, now, that's it for today. I know many of you are feeling like Ugh, you really want to get into that red belt because that's how far we've gone with our Pumse so far. But remember, we have to learn all of our basic forms first because they form the very foundation of everything that we do. All right, see you tomorrow.